Hey everybody, happy Friday. Today we are bringing to you a video from the YouTube Artists Collective. So there are now 11 members of the collective and I'm one of the new members and I'm pretty thankful and excited to be a part of this. I've loved watching it evolve over time and now there's 11 people. So let me tell you who is in the collective. We have Sack Lambs, Lemia Crescent, Bailey J, Zyra Benyez, Sluggy, Art by Karen E. Haley, Jelly Bee, Art a la carte, Hello Alice, and Joy Song. So if you don't know about the YouTube Artists Collective, it is basically a community of YouTube artists and every two months the fans and followers of the page on Facebook get to vote on a wonderful theme. And so that's you guys, and that's really cool because you guys get to be involved, and you all picked the Beautiful Nightmares theme for this month, and that is what we're doing. So let me transition into what my piece is about, and we'll go from there. Okay, so my channel usually involves portraits of girls in a semi-realistic, cartoonish style and I wanted to stick with that because I really enjoy that and I wanted to incorporate some sort of nightmarish thing and now my dreams always involve I mean nightmare dreams I'm not like I don't always have bad dreams that would be kind of sad but my nightmares always consist of either people trying to kill me which I wasn't really in the mood to draw or organisms getting up into my bed and being all scary. It's usually centipedes or <laughs> gross bugs and stuff. So I decided to take an organism that I'm afraid of, which is an octopus, and incorporate it into my normal style. This is also partially inspired by Ursula from The Little Mermaid, so it's lots of fun. But I decided to do a girl who is half woman, half octopus, <laughs> and give her lots of tentacles and make her look beautiful to fit the beautiful theme, and kind of nightmarish because I'm kind of afraid of octopi, octopuses, nah. something of the sort. I never know which one to say. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I did this piece with gouache paint, and I'm painting on wood panel. Gouache has been my new favorite medium for probably about two months, and it's a blast. Love it. It's like an opaque watercolor that is a lot harder to blend and tests your patience. And then it makes you question why you bothered to use it in the first place. But then when it's all said and done, you just love it, and then you want to use a gouache all over again. And you repeat the process, so it's quite a love-hate kind of cheerful little thing. Anyway, yeah. So, in the foreground you have her floating up above some sort of sea canyon, you know, there's like a cliff drop off sort of thing, and she's just floating above it, and in the background you see all this terror that has happened because of the octopi in the sea. And so, she is obviously the main villain in the picture, and dude, let me tell you what, these tentacles took me probably a good two and a half to three hours just for the tentacles. I mean, I mean, I worked on this piece over a series of three days and put a lot of time into it. Honestly, I think I lost track of how much time went into it, but it was a lot, so yeah. But, so the background, you will see a lot of terror and it's coming soon, so be on edge, be scared, something might pop out at you. Her tentacle might reach out and grab around you, who knows? <laughs> yeah, not really, but maybe if you had 3D glasses on and there are some cool effects you might see that, but eh, this is a painting. So yeah, I actually spend a lot of time watching YouTube videos about octopi, octopuses, whatever, and um, I'm scared of them and infatuated with them at the same time. Because, I mean, they can crawl about and just, it is so strange what they can do. I mean, they can, like, open jars and get inside the jars and escape from the jars and all this stuff. And I don't know. It's just 
really crazy. But I don't know. I used to look up a lot of like weird facts about them and everything. Um, by the way, it is octopuses, not octopi. In case you were wondering, I just googled it on my phone. Yeah, but um, I used to look up a lot of facts and they actually have three hearts and it's just, it's just crazy. There's like two branchial hearts and um, they pump blood through like each of the two gills and then there's one heart that pumps blood through the body. But if I remember correctly, that heart doesn't pump when like the octopus is moving. Something crazy like that. I don't know. You can look it up if you want. Um, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but yeah, I really like them. I love sea creatures. They're just creepy and they're cool and especially like bioluminescent creatures. Yeah. By the way, back to talking about the collective. Um, I don't want to go off on some little tangent for too long, but I'm going to leave their links down below because everybody sells their art from the collective that you guys have voted on. And so I want you guys to keep your art journey going and to see everything that they've made and subscribe to their channels if you haven't yet. They are wonderful artists and their pieces turned out fantastically too. You can see them previewed on as like work in progresses on Facebook. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video and I will see you for a bonus video in a couple days. So keep your eyes peeled. Okay, well have a fantastic day. See you guys.